times I told you guys I have a good amount of words that ended up piling up because I haven't been releasing the words like I should have been. Um, but God told me to take my time. You know, I'll be getting stuff together. But I want to just mention something to you guys. So this is a direct word for someone. This is for someone that's been feeling this exact way. Like literally, like they've been saying this or feeling it or maybe a thought of yours. But the Lord actually gave me this word for you to help you to let you know that it's not too late. It's not too late. So somebody, you're feeling a bit delayed. You're like, man, God, everything that you've told me to do, I've taken so long to do it. Or there's been so much obstacles and warfares and I feel so delayed, God. It's just pointless. It's almost like you're counting whatever God has told you to do as a loss. It's almost like you're like, okay, I'm just going to accept the fact that it's not going to happen and that, you know, I was disobedient or... I wasn't as, you know, ambitious or there was just too much warfare going on. God, I wasn't able to get it done. And you're like, you know what? God, it's too late. I'm just going to count it as a loss. And, you know, I'm just going to accept it, et cetera, et cetera. No, it's not a loss and it's not too late. There's a video that I recorded. And it's currently uploading. I think it's probably posted by now. It's a long video, like 17 minutes, right? In that video, I specifically said, you know, God's ways are not our ways. I also said... God doesn't need a plan B. As humans, we think that when certain things happen, th certain things shift, and in order to make certain things happen, we have to have a plan B. For instance, let's just say that you were supposed to, you're supposed to buy a new home or something like that. And this is the home that, you know, God showed you in your vision, okay? And you're supposed to buy it. But because you didn't put the down payment and you didn't, on the home or because something came up and you ended up paying, or sorry, paying some of the down payment on something else, you did not have the funds in time. So, so now you're thinking to yourself, that's a loss. That was a missed opportunity, God. I messed up, et cetera, et cetera, right? Then you th in, your, in your mind, you're like, okay, I have to come up with a plan B, which means I got to now make the money to buy another house so let's just say now you're saving back up the down payment you finally get the same amount of the down payment that you need so in your mind you're seeing this as a plan b right you're seeing this as a plan b and little do you know a month later the realtor calls you and tells you that the person decided not to fully close in on it okay not to fully close in on it and you the reason why you did not fight for it is because you didn't have the amount of funds you know the the right current amount of funds so you told the person that you didn't have the money so in your mind you thought it was sold they never told you it was sold but you thought it was sold just because you didn't have the the exact amount of funds that you needed so you counted that as a loss but a month later the realtor calls you and says the house wasn't actually sold there was an offer that was put on it but the person didn't actually go through with it and the realtor contacted you and said are you still interested in it and within that month you got back the money that you that you spent out of the deposit you got it back because god blessed you back with it so in your mind you thought you had to come up with a plan b but in all actual reality there was no plan b you're still it was still originally god's plan for you right so yes there may be delays but delays doesn't mean denied you see what i'm saying it doesn't mean denied God wants you to know that things are still in order. Things are still coming forward for you, okay? Do not say to yourself, it's pointless, or I'm just going to count it as a loss. And here's how you know this word is for you as well, because this is what exactly came out of your mouth. Oh, this always happens to me, God. I'm used to it. I'm used to things being taken from me. I'm used to missing opportunities, God. I'm used to it. Stop speaking like that upon yourself. Stop speaking like that upon your life. Just like the health situation, how the money was spent that was that was meant for the deposit, a little bit was spent out of that. So because you thought that you weren't going to have enough, you decided not to put anything on, on the deposit. So in your mind, it was sold and somebody else took the house and then the realtor called you back and let you know the house was still available. That was a blessing from God. That was God sticking to his original plan, even though it looked like something wasn't going to happen in the physical, God was working on things behind the scenes. God already knew the obstacles that were going to come to the forefront because God knows everything. So God doesn't need a plan B, okay? So the point of me saying this is, it's not pointless. It's not too late. 
God said you're still going to receive what it is he has promised you and to still work towards it. Even if you feel like you're you're delayed, continue to work towards it. Don't let you feeling delayed make you feel like, oh, it's pointless to work towards it because that's what the devil wants you to think. The devil wants you to think that it's pointless, it's a lost cause. So guess what? Now you're not putting any energy and effort into it. Where before, even though you were late, you were probably, or before you were late, you're probably putting in some effort and energy into it and getting things done. But because now you think you're, it's, it's pointless, you're not, you're not putting any type of effort into it. That's what the devil wants you to do. He wants you to cause a domino effect. No, continue to work towards it because it's still a part of the plan. Continue to work towards it and stop speaking upon your life. I'm used to this, God. I'm used to always getting played. I'm used to getting cheated on. I'm used to being lied to. I'm used to being used. I'm so used to not things not happening for me. I'm used to things, you know, not working in my favor. Cancel all that. Cancel all that self-doubt. Cancel all that past tense talk. Cancel it. No, I'm going to receive this. I'm going to work towards this. I'm going to receive a, a faithful relationship. I'm going to have whatever it is that you promised me, God. I am going to have it. Okay? Let me tell you something else, okay? God wants you to stand firm and to have faith. Stand firm in your faith. Because that is what's going to get you through whatever it is you're going through right now. Okay, with with God, all things are possible. God is not a liar. And whatever God blesses you with, no man can take from you. Whoever God blesses, no man can curse. So you have to remember something. All the obstacles were a part of the plan. But what you have to do now is continue and do not do not stray away from what it is that God wants you to originally do. No matter how much you doubt you feel, no matter how much times there's negativity, do not stray away from it. Continue moving towards it, okay? I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.